cannot stand you. We're both orphans, remember? Dad took us in when we were still babies. <laughs> that means we don't know who's actually older. For all you know, I could be your older sister. Yeah, and for all I know, maybe you're actually a boy. <sighs> Whatever, Carrie. Why don't you just chill out? I'm giving you an equal chance. Like, how many times do we have to go over this? We do the contest. The winner inherits the Golden Family's fortune. End of story. Wait, don't tell me. You're too scared to go to the Dragon Graveyard, even with your bodyguards. <laughs> As if. Don't be more of a jerk than usual, Cash. We have guests. They could be applying for the bodyguard position. Oh, hello there. Uh, please forgive our manners. Welcome to the Golden Mansion. Let me explain the situation. Our foster father has passed away. Now, we're in the middle of deciding which of us will take control of his fortune. Hmm, maybe arguing is a better term? My sister and I are like oil and water. We never agree on anything. That's why we've decided to have a trial. A contest, basically. Whoever completes it and returns to town first will be declared the winner! The trial itself is a Golding family tradition. It's like a test of a potential heir's worthiness. All one has to do is enter the dragon graveyard and obtain the mark of the family on their hands. Sounds easy, right? Not! The dragon graveyard is full of monsters. We could even die, you know? So, we've agreed to hire bodyguards to protect us during the competition. The only thing is, we haven't been able to find bodyguards of the right caliber. But I've got a good feeling about you, travelers. What do you say, little sister? I hate to say it, but I agree. Wow, this is a first. Well, there you have it. Okay, then. If we're all in agreement, why don't you go ahead and choose which of our backs you'd like to cover? The loser will use bodyguards picked from the mansion staff. Won't you, Carrie? Whatever. You're going down either way, Cash. Sure, sister. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be compensated regardless of who wins. So, don't worry about pay.
fine. I guess I'll round up some bodyguards from the mansion then. I cannot believe you chose him over me. Your loss. You rang, miss? Prepare a feast for our guests tonight. They look starved. The least we can do is give them a meal to prepare for the big day tomorrow. Right? Carrie, are you actually being considerate? This is a first. Well, we'll be on traveler's rations until we're back from the trial. I guess a banquet isn't a bad way to begin the journey. Diamond! First this scamp for a near dish! We're on a banquet row! King Trode's going to miss out again, though. Well, we don't know what hurt him. Wake up! Wake! Wake up! How long are you planning to stay in bed? It's already afternoon! Ugh. Finally! You're awake! It's afternoon! My sister has already left! <sighs> Help me wake up the others! <laughs> Beautiful ladies. <sighs> Wake up! Snap out of it! I hired you as guards, remember? I've decided to let you off this time because I overslept too. Oh, we have my sister to thank for that. The maid confessed that she put sleeping powder in our food last night, at Carrie's order. No time to waste discussing it now. We can still catch up. Come on, let's go to the Dragon Graveyard. I know you need to get yourselves ready, but I can't just sit around and wait for you. I'll go on ahead. Meet me at the entrance to the Dragon Graveyard.
there you are. I've been waiting for you. Carrie's already inside. If we hurry, we might be able to catch her. Listen, I can't lose. This is my chance to teach her to respect her older brother.
There you are at last, Cash. I'm afraid you're too late, though. Carrie came by here ages ago now. I'd stop wasting my time and get going if I were you.
I had no idea the monsters in here were so strong. Carrie went on ahead and left me behind when I got injured. She's in terrible danger. If you find her and she's in trouble, just forget about the trial. Don't let the monsters harm her. This is probably just some kind of trick. She did put sleeping powder in our food after all. I can't believe she'd leave someone injured like that, though. She must be in a real panic. Look at you, Carrie. This is what you get when you cheat. You're pathetic. I swear, you've been like this ever since we were kids, taking things too far and getting us both in trouble. But I'm in a generous mood today. All you have to do is beg me for help and I'll bail you out. 
Just like always. Come on, Carrie. I'm waiting. <sighs> Carrie, are you listening? Answer me. Watch out, Carrie. Run. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on?
<laughs> I'm sorry, Cash. This is all my fault. <laughs> but I won't cry. I know you'd laugh if you saw me crying for you. No. I'll be strong for you, Cash. I'll take over the casino and give it my all, I swear. Just watch over me from heaven with Dad. Ah! He's back from the dead! Very funny. Spare us the theatrics, Carrie. I only got knocked out, for goodness sake. Knocked out? More like playing dead. I knew it, though. That's why I provoked you. Oh, you knew it, did you? Well, I was just testing to see if you'd actually feel any sadness at seeing me dead. Of course I'd feel sad, you big jerk. You're the only brother I have. You're right. Well, after all, we've only got each other. I'd be sad to see you go, too. But we're in over our heads here, kiddo. If I hadn't shown up when I did, you'd have been toast. I'm sorry. I just... I really wanted to win this time. You're always ahead of me. But it's okay now. I'll let you take Dad's place, Cash. Hmm. What's up with you, Carrie? It isn't like you to give up so easily. You saved my life. So, I'll let you win this time. But don't expect me to make a habit of it. Look! We're almost at the doors of judgment! Watch over my brother, everyone! So, these are the doors. All I have to do is open them, and my hands will be marked with the family crest. Ow! It's as hot as a firebrand! How am I gonna open this? What's wrong, big brother? That's just from touching it. Don't you think you'll have a little trouble actually getting both doors open by yourself? Especially considering what a wuss you can be over a little paper cut. You got me, sis. What can I say? How about coming up here and opening it with me? Fine by me, Cash. But is it really fine by you? I mean, if I help you, the fortune's going to be split between the two of us. I'm sure it'll give us plenty to fight over. Uh, what have I done? But I'm a man of my word. Come on, join me. We'll inherit the fortune together. Nobody's forcing you to do this. So, no regrets after the fact, okay? Just take your side. Here goes nothing. After all that big talk, you're giving up now? Ow! Who's giving up? I just want to get back home and put some ice on my hand. Not until after we go in and have our audience with our ancestor. You should join us as well. There may be more monsters inside.
child of my children's children, you have reached the inner sanctum. In so doing, you have completed the trials and proven your worthiness as heir. Now, hearken to my words. Noble blood courses through your veins. As a trusted descendant, you have an obligation to protect this noble heritage. You may never permit this bloodline to end. For whilst it endures, the world shall remain at peace. That was our ancestor? Sure looks that way. That crystal seems to be enchanted with some sort of power that shows an image to us. He said not to let the bloodline die out, but isn't that impossible? We were adopted, after all. The family bloodline ended when father was killed. Well, we can't do anything about that now. All we can do is work together to make the casino even more successful. Anyway, we've heard what he had to say. Let's go home. And don't forget, travelers, you're still on the payroll as bodyguards until we get back. What happened? What are you two doing together? Does this mean you still don't know who won? Come on, it's obvious. It must have been a draw. Does this mean the casino's gonna stay closed? Uh, give me a break. Listen up, all of you. As you can see, the contest was a draw. However, an heir has been decided. Both of us are inheriting our father's fortune. Together. And as proof, we have both obtained the mark of the Golden Clan from the Dragon Graveyard. They look just like the Scar's Golden Head on his hands. Yeah, he used to show them off all the time down the pub, he did. We also have some good news for everyone. The casino will reopen tomorrow! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Ooh, yeah! Uh, about bleeding time! And finally, we need to thank you for protecting us, my traveling friends. But we're exhausted at the moment. We'd like you to stay in the mansion tonight as our guests, so we can properly reward you tomorrow. Good morning. I see you're up. The master and miss would like to see you, so perhaps you could make your way to their room when you're ready.
there they go. I guess this is goodbye. You know, before we met them, I never imagined things would turn out like this. I mean, both of us inheriting Dad's fortune? Who would have believed that? Looking back, I can't believe how stubborn we were acting about being sole heirs. It's amazing how easily people can change when they put their minds to it. Watch it there, big brother. This talk of becoming sole heir, it's freaking me out. Don't worry, I'm not suggesting anything. We're in this together, I swear. On the mark, on my palm. I swear it too, Cash. On the mark of our family. And on the memory of our father. Now that we're working together, we can make the Golding family more successful than it's ever been. <laughs> Let the good times roll! Isn't it wonderful that Cash and Carrie both managed to complete the trial? Now they can work together to carry on their father's business. They're actually very close, aren't they? Beneath all the bickering, I mean. We used to fight too. Do you remember? When we were little. I always thought of you as my older brother. But now I see you more as... a man. I... I mean... never mind. 
Forget I said anything. Good night.
I'm sorry. Give me a minute. I spend my days thinking about what I should talk to you about the next time we come to the spring. But there are so many things to share. Sometimes I just don't know where to start. Travelling together is so much fun. But it would be even better if I weren't a horse. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank B Battle. Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team, the Puffing Puddings. In the blue corner, captained by Bald here, the Dragon Questers, it's the Drag Queens! It's a historic hoedown of a showdown! Let's get it on!
The fans are going absolutely wild! And now it's time for round two of the Rank B Contest! The teams are ready to go! The fans are ready to go! Heck, I'm ready to go! Let's hear it for round two! In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team! In the blue corner, captained by Bogart, cruising for a bruising, it's the Tough Nuts! It's a fight so tight, even Lady Luck don't know what to write. Let's get it on! It's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. The winner of this epic battle will walk away as the Rank B Monster Arena Champion. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. In the blue corner, captained by Bothan, like Rolling Stones, it's the Rock and Rollers. Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on! A most spectacular performance. This is the prize for winning rank B. Congratulations! <laughs> I knew it! 
I set the target, and it's like the red rag to the bull, say, ragazzo. I keep my promise. I give you the prize. You will be the only one in the world to have this privilege, ragazzo. You, and only you, will be the owner of not one, but two teams of the monsters. Just think about it. With the two teams, you will be formidable in the outside world. You could have the one team for attacking and the other team for the healing, eh? You make the different combination. This means we must give the name to your new team. If you cannot think of a good name, I can do it for you. So, you want to name your own team? Then let Mori use his poetic genius to think of the perfect name for you. Va bene. Let me see. Si! <laughs> I am a genius! The Nine to Fivers! Okay? You don't like it? Really? Va bene. I will think of another name. Va bene. Let me see. Si! <laughs> I am a genius! How about the Worrying Walkers? Hey, you don't like that one too. Eh, va bene. How about the cocky cutlets? The cheesy chatterers? The sweet spankers? The banana benders? Ay, not an easy one to please, eh? You must have a team name to register your team, eh? I go again from the top. How about the... How about the worrying whackers? How about the cocky cutlets? How about the ch... How about the sweet spankers? How about the banana benders? This name, it is okay? So, ragazzo, you have named your second team. All you have left is the rank A. A? A? A! <laughs> Are you as excited as me, ragazzo? The tension is really mounting in my pit, eh? <laughs>